As with many of you, Elementor is my go-to page builder when creating WordPress websites. But when you're wanting to extend your pages beyond what is offered within the included features of Elementor, welcome to the world of Elementor plugins and add-ons. Which one do you choose? Well, unfortunately, there's no single answer to that question, but hopefully my experiences can help point you in the right direction. So let's chat about what to look for when choosing an Elementor add-on pack and some thoughts surrounding the ones that I've worked with. Hey, I'm Ryan from Hello Hudson. It is so good to have you here. If this is your first time, welcome. This channel is all about sharing tools and tips to help you build better and smarter websites. Please consider subscribing and hitting the bell so you're notified of new videos. There really is so many Elementor add-on plugins out there these days that for anyone who is new to Elementor, I would imagine it would be extremely overwhelming to know where to start. My advice, first and foremost, make the most of what comes with Elementor. Learn the ropes and get acquainted with all the standard elements. And if you're using Elementor Pro, get familiar with the theme builder and the pop-up builder. Harness the power inside before you even consider purchasing another pack. Elementor Pro comes with a stack of great elements that can definitely get your website off the ground. When it comes to adding specific features or functionalities that are outside the scope of what Elementor can do, that's when you should consider looking beyond. It can, however, be so easy to get sucked into purchasing a premium element pack because you like a single element, but then you don't even end up using any of the others. Look for packs that not only appeal to your style of design and development, but also have a number of useful elements that will help you extend what your websites can do. When choosing your Elemental plugin, do your research. Look for reviews and tutorials and actually see how they work. And one definite go-to for me is to do a search on the Elementor Facebook community. There are so many experienced Elementor users right at your fingertips who you can learn from. Now, by no means do I claim to have used every Elementor add-on out there, but in the next part of this video, I simply wanna give you an overview of the ones that I have used, what I like, what I don't like, the good, the bad, and the ugly. Recently in another video, I went through my list of go-to WordPress plugins. And if you missed that, go and check that one out later. But before you do, let's take a look at the list of Elementor add-ons that I have used and my overall experience and reaction. The first one we're gonna look at is Elementor Extras. Elementor Extras was the very first Elementor extension that I purchased, but that's not the only reason I'm mentioning it. This plugin offers a great number of creative elements, including some killer nav features, such as off canvas navigation and slide menu, as well as a dedicated SVG image element, which allows for customization and one of my favorites, global tooltips for improved user experience. These days, there are a number of packs out there that are similar to this, and I can't speak for all of them, but just know that not all packs are created equal. It's so important to do your research and look for a pack that suits your style and your needs. But Elemental Extras has proven itself time and time again to be a very useful pack of elements that are not only unique, but also useful. So for me, this one gets a nine out of 10. Number two, and this is one that I've mentioned in previous videos, and that is Anywhere Elemental Pro. Anywhere Elemental Pro introduced a number of dynamic layout options long before Elementor itself had the theme builder. Even now with the theme builder, this plugin continues to prove its worth, allowing me to create dynamic custom layouts for custom post types, helping to really break that mold of the default post layout. The flexibility and advanced integrations with custom fields and dynamic elements makes it a big part of my workflow. So anywhere Elemental Pro gets a seven out of 10 from me, and that's nothing against the features of this plugin, but the usability is a little bit more advanced and does take a little bit of getting used to. Number three is Dynamic Elements for Elementor. What I love about this plugin is that it focuses on extending the existing elements to give you some really fresh and dynamic styling for your website. Some of the elements are more advanced and so be aware that they do take some tweaking. And even though I think these guys have done a great job at putting together an amazing collection of add-ons, I don't think their website actually represents the quality of this plugin. Their docs are difficult to navigate and finding out what each element does can be a bit confusing. All in all, it's a killer addition to your Elementor workflow, especially for advanced users looking to add some spark. So for me, Dynamic Elements gets an eight out of 10, mainly again because of their documentation and their website design. 
but that could just be me. I'm a little obsessive compulsive when it comes to user interface and user experience. Now the next few elemental add-ons on this list offer both a free version and a premium version, which is a great idea as it gives people a taste of what the plugin is like before they have to fork out money. So number four on my list is Powerpack Lite. Powerpack Lite would have to be one of my favorite free plugins and for one simple reason, and that's the Gravity Form Styler. I actually think that this is the only element that I've used from this pack, but to the developers of this plugin, thank you. I'm a huge Gravity Forms user, but out of the box Gravity Forms is, let's say, in need of a little love. So it's a huge help and I use it so much. Without having used the premium version, I'm still gonna give this one a seven out of 10 simply because of how useful this one has been to me. Obviously, if you don't use Gravity Forms, this one might not be useful to you, but check out the other elements that it has. It could be the right one for you. Number five is premium add-ons. Now, up until now, the ones that I've listed are ones that I actually do use on a regular basis. This one, however, has been a little disappointing. These guys do offer a heap of different elements in their free version, and I have purchased their premium version. However, as I said, I have found it to be a little disappointing. I first came across it when I wanted to implement a vertical scroll feature on a website I was working on. However, I just found it very clunky to use. And even their example of their new horizontal scroll on their website, I find to be quite glitchy. The one premium element that I have used on a website is their image accordion, but I ended up having to customize this heavily with CSS to get the desired results simply because the settings were limited. If you've had success with this one, I'm so happy for you, honestly. But for me, it only gets a five out of 10. And number six is Modern Events Calendar. Now this one was honestly a pleasant surprise to me. I've used other events calendar plugins before and none of them were so flexible and intuitive. But I hear you say, this one's not an elemental add-on. And I hear you, although the free version offers a lot of features, it doesn't offer any elemental add-ons. That being said, their pricing structure is actually brilliant and offers a full elemental bundle allowing you to completely customize and build your events listings and single views. Obviously, this one's not gonna be useful on every website you build, but when you need it, this one makes me super happy. So I'm gonna give it an eight out of 10. Number seven is dynamic conditions. This one came to the rescue for what I reckon was one of the most requested features over the last few years. And a number of plugin packs have now begun to include similar features, but for a free plugin, this is gold. This concept obviously isn't new, and for years I've been achieving it with some basic PHP in my theme, but to now have control right within Elementor is such a time saver. Basically, it allows you to dynamically show or hide sections or elements based on custom conditions, including date, user status, and custom fields. It really has simply been brilliant. Even though this one isn't technically an Elementor pack because it's really only one element, to add to your Elemental workflow. I'm still gonna give this one an eight out of 10 and another huge thank you to the developers. But if you've already purchased an Elemental pack of some kind, check to see whether they've got something similar. So that's the list of Elemental add-ons that I use at the time of filming this video. So to wrap up, if I can offer any advice when choosing your Elemental add-ons, there are two things I will always consider. Number one, less is more. Just because you can, doesn't mean you should. Choose add-ons that have features that will enhance your website's functionality as well as its design. It is so important to keep the end user in mind. This is the key to user experience in creating functional, smart, and easy to use websites that look great rather than websites that look great but are hard to navigate and use. The second one, quality over quantity every time. Just because a plugin appears to have heaps of features doesn't necessarily mean it's the best. Look through the examples on the plugin's website to see it in action. And again, reviews, tutorials, and the Elemental Facebook group. It is a great community of like-minded people from across the globe, simply a great place to connect. So that's all from me. I hope you found this helpful. Please give this video a thumbs up and add a comment below. Let us know what your go-to Elemental add-on is. Thanks again for joining me. I really hope to see you in the next video. Cheers.